Sister Seamus and Mr. Dunn, someone told us that you two have something else in common besides your commitment to Catholic education. You both have the same favorite songs. Our choir would like to offer a song as a thank you gift for your presence here today. Would you please come to the podium? This was the Irish Catholic Grammar School <laughs> 60 years ago. Right. It has evolved, but the values have stayed the same. Right. You have people like Sister Seamus, the Sisters of Mercy. You have Father Joe, the leader of the school. But what you have is um, wonderful parents and wonderful students. That's obvious. And what, what we're trying to do is like make, save the school. But the association with Notre Dame, as you can see, it, is so important. So it's an overall story of the demographic meets the future of Notre Dame the work the endowment's doing to encourage people like this to someday to go to Notre Dame, sure. and they match up well, and the, the Ignite program, if they stick to it, there is a summer program for a week in South Bend, for those who keep giving the right answer of where they want to go. <laughs> and so that's it, so it's a, it, it's, it's a coming together of two, two schools that have the same values, uh, same goals, same type of diversity goals and whatever, right. and it's, it, you know, it's, it's just great. It's just great that a small Catholic grammar school in Atlantic City could have that association with Notre Dame. And How do you like Notre Dame? How do I like Notre Dame? That's a thousand dollar question. I credit Notre Dame with many, many good things that have happened in my life. You know, I met. You know. I, I got a lot out of my entire time at Notre Dame. I met some of my closest friends in the world today. When 9-11 hit, one guy drove from Chicago. With his, he had a computer company with his computer guys to help us the next day. All, all my roommates showed up right immediately. When I was your age, all my friends all went to public school. And in those days, you had to pay five dollars a month to go to St. Joseph's Grammar School. And so I went to my mother and I said, you know, Mom, I think this is a waste of money. And you know, I want to go to the public school. And she was she was you know, broom and she was had the broom and she was doing something in the kitchen. I remember she put the broom down and she said, Jimmy boy, sit down. So we sat down. And she said that number one was that your father worked very hard and he could afford the five dollars a month. That's number one. It's not always the case. Number two, she said, I would be thrilled to go in the work between the ladies' room at Penn Station on my knees to send you to Catholic school. And I'd be the proudest person in the world if I if that had get to that. So I realized that that was the end of that, that I was, I was, I was staying in the, in the St. Joseph's Grammar School. And then I, so I, I immediately went to, well, okay, then I guess I'll have to go to college. And she said, absolutely, you're going to go to college. And I said, well, what's the best college in the country? She said, well, that's easy. That's Notre Dame. Notre Dame is the finest school in the country. And so, you know, I went to Notre Dame, and I think she was right. I really believe she was right. Whether or not you go to Notre Dame, that's not what it's important. What's important is you set a goal and you try to go out and get it. And if you're disappointed, you go on to the next goal and you keep going. So it made a very big difference in my life. To get back up on your feet after 9-11. Well, you, you know, there was never a doubt about that. You know, like I said, I mean, it, it came from the school that I went to, which is very similar to this school. 
you know, the people that I had met. I had teachers, you know, I was not the best student. I was probably better than Steve, but I wasn't the best student, you know, all right? I mean, I, I, you know, I did okay in school. I did get into Notre Dame with some help, but I was never, you know, the smartest kid in the class by any means. But I had a lot of friends, and I had a lot of teachers that were supportive of me, and I had a people I used to caddy for, and coaches that I had playing sports, and I felt like all those people had invested some time and energy into me. And so now it was my turn to demonstrate to them that that effort was not wasted. And so I felt an obligation to my parents, my sisters, my teachers, my coaches, my friends, my partners, my employees, that, you know, now it's my turn to show up. And so I was, I was completely focused on that. And I, that, that was very easy for me, honestly. I mean, people talk about how hard it is. I've never had anything easier in my life than to respond to that. I'm not saying that the response was easy. I'm not saying the days were easy. I'm not saying making decisions were easy. But what to do was there was no question about it. And also, given the good base that I had from my education, I felt I was capable of doing it. I had no doubt as to my capability that I was either going to do it or die trying. But it was going to be one of the two. Cheers, cheer for a louder day. Wake up the echoes cheering her name. Send a lovely cheer on high. Shake down the thunder from the sky. What though the odds be very small, oh Notre Dame will win over all. While we're loyal sons are marching onward to victory. That was awesome. Thank you very much.